out of, okay. Healing doesn't fall from heaven. Healing has been given. It's already been accomplished. It's already been granted. Ephesians 1, 3, that God has already granted us every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Granted, done, sent. Our job is to receive. Our job is not to try to pull it out of heaven. It's not going to come out of heaven, right? It's already been granted. He, and the Bible is very clear. He says that if he gave us Jesus in Romans 8, will he not with Jesus, in other words, if he gave us Jesus, will he not with Jesus give us everything that pertains to life and godliness? Amen? Now, that does not mean because we have Jesus, he will give us stuff. It says, will he not with Jesus? All right, let me put it this way. When Jesus moved in, he brought all his stuff with him. Yeah. All right, you got that? He brought that in. That's right. So now, understand, you are seated with him. So just as much as you are there, he's here. You get that? Yeah. Okay, because he's here, and he says that he dwells in us. Isn't that right? So he dwells in us. And because he dwells in us, now at the same time, we know he's seated at the right hand of the Father. But we also know we are seated with him. So we're there, and we're here. Do you get that? He and us are there. I know it's not good English, but I've never been accused of good English anyway. So, all right. So, but we're there with him and he's here with us. Amen. So anything we're going to get from God is here and it's going to come out of here to other people. If we're going to minister healing or receive healing. Now, ministering healing, it comes out. Why? Because he said that when he said this, he said, out of your innermost being, out of your belly shall flow rivers, plural, not one rivers, rivers of healing, rivers of deliverance, rivers of prosperity, rivers of relationship, all that rivers yeah. are going to come out of your belly. Yeah. Right? That He didn't say it's going to come out of heaven to you. Right. And he said, this he spoke of the spirit, which was not yet given because he had not yet been glorified. Mm -hmm. So he was talking about a future time, which is now, because now it's after the resurrection. Because he said, it is more, and this is a statement I have found, okay, I hadn't found anybody that really believes it. I was going to try to be nice and say I found a few, but I hadn't really. But it's very close. But it says, he said, Jesus said, that it is expedient for you that I go to the Father. He said, because if I don't go to the Father, I cannot send the Spirit back to you. So it's expedient that he leave. Now, I've, I've actually done this. I've asked Christians, how many, of you, how, how many of you are filled with the Holy Spirit? Hands go up. I say, okay, now. How many of you would actually rather have Jesus here physically in front of you? All the hands went up. I said, you don't believe that verse. Because Jesus said it's expedient. It is better for you. He said, it's better for you if I go away. Because if I don't go, I can't send the Holy Spirit. And so he, he went and then he sent the Spirit. So the Spirit was poured out into us. Do you get that? He was poured out and into, right? Now, for us, he says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Isn't that right? So he, he dwells in us. So if we're, and he said, this is the spirit. Now, how do people get healed? By the spirit. Isn't that right? He even said, he, Jesus even said, it's not me that does the works, but the spirit of my father in me. The spirit of my father in me. Who's the spirit of his father? The Holy Spirit. So he says, the spirit of the father in me, he does the works. Is that right? So the Holy Spirit does the works. Correct? Where is the Holy Spirit? In here. So, whenever it says that out of your belly will flow rivers of living water, this he spoke of the Spirit, then the Spirit is going to have to come out of us, not down from heaven. So the first mistake people make is they pray for the Spirit to fall, or the Spirit to come and heal, or Jesus to come and touch. And the Bible is very clear. Righteousness, which is by faith, does not say... Who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring him down? Or who will descend into the depth, that is to bring him up? No, the word of, the, uh, the uh, actually faith which is by righteousness does not talk like that. But faith which is by righteousness speaks like this. That the word is nigh you, even in your heart and in your mouth. So we don't say come. We don't say touch. We don't say heal. He comes out of us and he comes out. Now he comes out of your he flows out of your innermost being. Now, he can just flow straight out. He can do that, right? But generally, especially in healing, he comes out usually two ways. Number one, since you are filled with him, there's not one part of your body that doesn't have him in it, right? right? 
And be, because why? Your spirit inhabits your body. If there's a part of your body that does not have your spirit in it, that part of the body is dead because the body without the spirit is dead. So if you had spirit everywhere in your body but except in your hand, your hand would wither up and die. Why? No life, no spirit. That should give you a clue where some people's problems are. If they have things wrong, it's because no life is going into that. Yeah. Right? Now, we we'll, might get a chance to talk about that. I don't know. But, so you got this life. So the number one way that healing was released from Jesus, there's really two ways, but probably the most prominent and the way he told us to do it was by the laying on of hands. So when you stretch forth your hand, his spirit fills your body because his spirit has filled your spirit. Okay? And because of that, his spirit and your spirit are one spirit with the Lord. Is that correct? So you are one spirit with him. So wherever your spirit goes, his spirit goes. So if you stretch out your hand, your spirit has gone out. Guess where his spirit goes? So technically, actually, who's leading who? See, if I choose to do this, he's got to go with it. I, I can't stretch forth my hand and him go, nope, mm -mm, not going to do it. Mm -mm, no, not nah, because he's in there. Wherever I put my spirit, his spirit goes. And when I touch somebody and I decide to release my spirit, his spirit, you understand? Then that spirit flows out into that person. Now, what people don't understand about healing a lot of times is that it is not flesh on flesh. It's spirit to spirit. So when I lay hands on somebody, spirit goes into their spirit. It does not go into their flesh. <clears throat> Just like pouring water on a plant, you don't pour water on the leaves. You pour it in the roots. And then the water goes up through the roots and through the stalk and all that and out through the branches and into the leaves. Isn't it right? It's how you get healed. We put in, I put life into you, that spirit. It's the spirit of life. It is his life. We release life into you. It comes by way of the spirit, goes into your spirit, and then comes out. It goes in first, and then is seen on the outside. It goes into your spirit, and then, now here's the thing. If you're a Christian, especially, his spirit's already in there. And I got, I'll go ahead and tell you the secret. You don't need my hands. He's in you. What I've got is in you. Now, the, you said, then how come when we lay hands, how can people get healed? Usually it's because you don't know how to release your spirit. So when I release spirit into your spirit, it's like anything else. I could take this water right here and I could take this and take this and if I start pouring, what's going to happen? It's going to overflow, isn't it? And, and, if, and let's say this was, uh, let's just use some wild example, Coca-Cola. Right? Well, <laughs> that means it's, it's a darker color. Right? That's all I'm talking about, right? So we got, we got the uh, darker color in this. This is clear water, right? I'm going to turn around. This is going to be the dark. This is going to be the clear. How's that? I like that better, all right, as far as the illustration. So if this is dark, let's say it's all muddy, dirty water. This is clean water. So I'm going to take this off and I start to pour it in there. What's going to happen? It's going to overflow. If I keep pouring, all of that is going to overflow. And, all, and pretty soon, that's going to be just like this one. Why? Because this one forced that garbage out. That's what happens when I lay hands on you. The Spirit of God in my spirit goes into your spirit and you've already got the Spirit in you. So all I'm doing is pushing, going under and pushing what's in you already in and out and your spirit in you, the Holy Spirit in you, pushes out your sickness and disease because your sickness and disease is not spirit. It is flesh. So it, the Spirit pushes into the flesh and pushes out of the flesh all of the sickness and disease. Amen? Have you got that? 